Cooper Hewitt Interaction Lab presents Activating Smithsonian Open Access, made possible by Verizon 5G Lab. Images of the exterior of Cooper Hewitt Smithsonian Design Museum. The mansion is visible through a decorative cast iron fence. In spring of 2021, the Interaction Lab at Cooper Hewitt Smithsonian Design Museum funded seven creative technology teams through an open call for new digital interactions with the Smithsonian's open access data set. A series of colorful image and text animations which show museum objects being digitized and made available to be used from a home computer. Launched in March of 2020, open access is a massive collection of 2D and 3D images available to be downloaded, remixed, and reused for free under a Creative Commons Zero license. Interaction Lab Director Rachel Ginsberg, a 40-year-old non-binary woman with short hair and round glasses. Thinking about the museum as a site for design is a really exciting manifestation of the Interaction Lab's mission, and the ASOA program is at the center of that. An over-the-shoulder view of Abigail Honor, a white woman sketching a 3D environment with pen and paper. Corey Terzis, Enterprise Strategy and Partnerships Manager from Verizon 5G Lab, the white man with blue eyes and short blonde hair. Verizon 5G Labs is excited to partner with Cooper Hewitt in this program. As Corey speaks, we see video of the Doorways into Open Access team meeting and working on their augmented reality prototype, and screen recordings of the butterfly prototype, and video of augmented reality butterflies flying around on a phone screen. Cooper Hewitt has an extraordinary focus on designing its collections for the human experience. And by applying the latest technologies to the Smithsonian artifacts that are now digitized in their open access library, the museum experience is taken to a new level. Loot Merch's 3D rendering of a bronze artifact from the Kingdom of Benin. Having access to so many different museums in one place means that we're basically painting through history and across discipline. Xander Brimajoin, team lead for Art Clock, a white man with a brown beard streaked with white. What's particularly exciting to me is using interactive technology to engage people with work that they might not otherwise. As Xander continues to speak, we see videos of the Red Paper Heart team working on the prototype and the prototype itself, which is an abstracted clock face that shows images of open access objects. The art echoes 3D virtual gallery space as it's being designed, showing white walls with red spatial sound markers visible around 3D dinosaur skeletons. The interaction itself becomes the curator that guides your experience. What was unexpected was the degree to which people were willing to help to put into each experiment and to make it a success, and that's a really refreshing take on a working relationship. John O'Brandel, mixed race, Filipino and white man, with long hair and a top knot. The Writing with Open Access project conceptually was something that uh, we were interested in developing, but wasn't sure if it was actually gonna be something interesting or compelling once we uh, made a prototype. And to have that space to take a risk is hugely important to us. Concept sketches from Jono's notebook and a screen recording of someone inputting text into the Writing with Open Access prototype. As Jackie Lee, team lead for Science VR speaks about his experience. We see video clips demonstrating the gameplay of Treasure Hunt Space Mission. I can't believe this is the game that we are building with the Smithsonian Museum. So far it's been really inspiring to think about how to combine history with game mechanics and inside the virtual space. And this is just the beginning. We can't wait to explore how these tools might transform the way that people can interact with online collections and help us at Cooper Hewitt and the Smithsonian to think in new ways about the kinds of programs we can build. The video cycles quickly through footage of a diverse team meeting at a conference room table and shots of various ASOA prototypes being developed and tested. The video closes with slides containing links to the Smithsonian Open Access Collections and to activating Smithsonian Open Access on cooperhewitt.org. There you'll find links to all seven projects. You can also find these links in the video description. The last thing you see in the video are two slides thanking a long list of program mentors, judges, and stakeholders, and offering special thanks to our producer, Jade Wills, and our program assistant, Katherine Miller.